She's a no-nonsense, tell-it-like-it-is, hard-hitting journalist. Krista Erickson. She cuts through the talking points. She cuts through the clutter. The real stories you need delivered. Canada Live with Krista Erickson. Weekdays, now at 3 and 6 p.m. Eastern, only on Sun News Network. Krista Erickson has always been the star of our daytime shows, but now she's joining us in prime time at 6 o'clock every day. Krista, welcome to the program to talk about it. Last time I was here, I was throwing bananas at you, and you were in an ape suit. I was grunting like an ape, very little changes. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, but how, how can you do this two hours? So you're on from 3 till 5 every day, yes. and then I come on for an hour. Yes. You take a breather, and then you come on for another hour. That's three hours of television. I can barely do... One hour, which is 44 minutes of talk. How, oh. is, your, is your 6 p.m. going to be more commentary and analysis? or yes. is it going? Yeah. It's a little edgier. It has a little more opinion. There's some value-added segments that you can find in the 6 o'clock edition that you won't find in the daytime edition. So, for instance, actually, it's something I want to talk to you about. Um, the new fan favorite segment of the program is a segment that we're calling Winners and Wankers. Mm. Now, I learned subsequent to the creation of this segment that in Great Britain, the word wanker actually means masturbation, if I can say that word on TV. I thought, that was, the, I, I thought that was the only definition of it. I, I, didn't, I didn't know there was another <laughs> but, definition. But it's considered to be a profanity. Oh, okay. So now I am waiting for the Canadian Broadcast Standards <laughs> Council to slap me down um, for allegedly swearing on the air every single night. So we've got that. We've got our media monitor segment with Ray Hurd, which is another really hard segment. Oh, he's segment. good where he just rips into the media for biased reporting. So, um, yeah, it's considerably more opinionated and I think uh, quite entertaining. I love it f because I love your program and I love you, but I love it because of the people who hate it. You're known for your friends, <laughs> Krista, but you're also known for your enemies. And I think that you have been in lightning rod at the Sun News Network because you... I, well, for a number of reasons. I think partly it's jealousy on the part of our critics. I think it's because... You know, I, you say things that other journalists sort of wish they could or they wish they had the independence, but they don't. Why have you become an antenna where all the lightning strikes? It's a great question, Ezra, and I've, I've wrestled with it myself, and I'm not really sure. You know, I'm not a sociologist or a psychologist, so it's hard to read these people, people's minds. Um, I can't lie to you. I mean, there's been moments where I've wondered if, it has, if it's gender-oriented. You know, if the things that I say come out of... The, a man's mouth, would they be as controversial? I'm not sure, but I've, I've sort of stopped trying to figure out where people are coming from and yeah. just ignored the attacks. Because they're, they're so personal in, a way. in nature. Yeah. And you know that old expression about, well, when you can't win an argument on the substance of a point, yeah. then you attack somebody's character. So I have to believe that we are winning these arguments on the substantive issues yeah. if people want to attack on a sort of personal basis. And right? I'm talking about, for example, we, and this is what we talked about last time you were on the show, the 6,000 or so people in a manufactured campaign to have you censored by the Broadcast Censors Council. I mean, I mean, it, I, it must be personally hurtful to get that, but on the same token, if you, can, if you can realize what it is, it is a mass attempt to stop you from doing what you're doing, that's enormously flattering. I mean, if you were not making a difference, if you were not creating waves, no one would mount a campaign to quieten you. No, I agree. I mean, um, even during my time at the CBC, you know, uh, we always used to say, when you're getting attacked from the left and the right, yeah. your work is getting attacked. Yeah. That means you're doing something right. Yeah. Um, and I see it that way. And you know what? There's lots of people on the right who don't like all the things that we say or that I say. And yeah, so that's an indication to me that we are doing something right. But one of our bosses once said to me, um, Krista, all the right people hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's some truth to that. Listen, don't ever believe that they're a majority. They are the noisy minority. I believe that the massive majority of Canadians not only love what we stand for at the Sun News Network, but I think that, I, I think you're right when you say there's some jealousy. The, the far left hates conservative women and the fact that you're beautiful to boot, you're brainy and beautiful, they don't know what to do. I think they, they just wish you weren't around because you break so many stereotypes. Maybe. I mean, Ezra, you've seen what I look like in the morning, so you know what I look like when I'm not wearing makeup. I mean, this is all, you know, oh, illusion. Oh, you're being it's, too modest. It's, it's lighting and, and, uh, and it's makeup and all of that. But yeah, I've not had an opportunity to read the book uh, penned by your friend Ann Coulter about the uh, mentality of the liberal mob. But again, going back to my time at CBC, I've been attacked from the left. I have been attacked from the right. Yeah. And I can tell you in my personal experience, it is far more vicious and far more vitriolic when it comes from the left.
Well, we're going to be watching every day. You keep up the fight. you got a friend here on The Source. Thanks, Thank Krista. Thank you, Ezra. Hey, folks, so you can watch Krista challenge the status quo Monday through Friday at 3 and 6 p.m. Eastern Time.